show. Thank you kindly, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings, friends. Welcome. Our show this evening is titled Children's Favorites in Song and Story. I'm sure it will be lots of fun for the kiddies, and I think all you parents will also find it very enjoyable. The familiar story of Snow White was made into a wonderful movie by the late genius Walt Disney. We bring you a medley of songs from this picture with George Cates conducting. George and Ben, excellent. One of the best known children's stories inspired this next beautiful melody. You'll see Sis and Bobby dancing to the Sleeping Beauty Waltz. <laughs>
all that wonderful, beautiful Sissy and Bobby. But you know, that just happens to be uh, my kind of music. Sissy, come over here and Bobby. After dancing with the prince, I was just wondering if you'd mind dancing with a North Dakota farm boy who made good in the music business. <laughs> I'd huh? be honored. <laughs> really good. Bobby, in that case, I think I'll let you be the leader of the band. Great. Thank <laughs> the, you. The way you're dressed, <laughs> I, I guess I'll be okay. Yeah. Here you are. Little music, please. Um, oh, one, two, three. <laughs> just having so much fun here. Gail Farrell, Mary Lee Metzger, and I had the good fortune of singing together for several years on the show and of wearing a wide variety of costumes. It was interesting to watch the cast, including ourselves, take on the personality of our costumes. Our behavior tended to match what we wore. Whate'er thou art, act well thy part. Sounds easy unless you're a bumblebee or a glowworm. In this next number, we regress to early childhood, one of our favorite activities, and sing the kind of nonsense song most children love. Here from the movie Cinderella is Bibbity Bobbity Boo. <laughs> Your mind is in a dither and your heart is in a haze. I'll haze your dither and dither your haze with a magic phrase. If you're chased around by trouble and you're followed by a jinx, I'll jinx your trouble and trouble your jinx in less than 40 winks. Salakadula, minchikaboola, bibbity bobbity boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Salakadula, minchikaboola, bibbity bobbity boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not, bibbity bobbity boo. Salakadoola means magic a boolaroo, but the thingamabob that does the job is bibbity bobbity boo. Salakadoola magic a boola, bibbity bobbity boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Salakadoola magic a boola, bibbity bobbity boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Bibbity-bobbity-boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bibbity-bobbity-bibbity-bobbity-bibbity-bobbity-boo. Bibbity-bobbity-bibbity-bobbity-bibbity-bobbity-boo. Bibbity
See what I mean? We had fun pretending to be little girls again. Next up is a charming song by Jimmy Roberts, My Little Buckaroo. You know, those of you who have watched our show over the years will remember how we always brought our children to the show every Christmas. You could almost see them growing in front of your eyes. Well, I brought some of my children with me today. I thought maybe you'd like to meet them again. Let's start with our littlest buckaroo, our youngest son, Sam. Come on, Sam, climb up here. There you go. And what's your big news? I lost my two front teeth. For Christmas. But look, he's already got them back. Now, here's Jimmy Roberts to sing My Little Buckaroo. You're my little buckaroo. Close your sleepy eyes, my little buckaroo. While the light of the western skies is shining down on you. Don't you know it's time for bed? Another day is through. So go to sleep, my little buckaroo. Don't you realize, my little buckaroo? It was from a little the oak tree grew and remember that your dad was once a kid like you so go to sleep my little buckaroo Thank you, Jimmy. One of the big numbers in the movie Dr. Doolittle was Talk to the Animals, sung by Rex Harrison. Here it is, played in the champagne music style. So if you feel like dancing, now's the time.
That does make you want to dance, doesn't it? Our whole family loves to dance, and I would say our resident ballerina is our youngest daughter, Emily. Emily is 12. Isn't this kitty cute, Em? What do you like to do, Emily? I like to play sports and jump on a trampoline. Jump on the trampoline or hang upside down from the monkey bars. And she's a great babysitter. Most children, including ours, and most daddies, too, love to play with toy trains. Here are Guy and Ralna to sing the very first song they ever performed together on the show. Little Toy Trains. Right. Remember this song? I sure do. Little Toy Trains. Little toy drums coming from a sack Carried by a man dressed in white and red Little boy, don't you think it's time you were in bed Close your eyes, listen to the sky That sure strikes home for a lot of fathers, including yours truly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for a little change of pace, let's call on Arthur Duncan. Arthur, have you got anything favorite children for the children? Well, I always like the one about Hans Brinker and the silver skates. Unfortunately, my folks got me tap shoes instead of skates. So this dance number is going to end up being skaters' taps. <laughs> Thank you. 
Arthur, I think we're all glad that your family gave you tap shoes instead of skates. He's such a great dancer, isn't he? As I mentioned, everyone in the Griffiths family loves to dance, which brings me to our eldest son, Ben. Hiya, Ben. Hi, everybody. He's a sophomore at Hart High School, and he's learning new steps at the Santa Clarita Cotillion. Yes, and I also run cross-country with the Hart High track team. We recently just won the California State Championship. Ben earned his Eagle Scout Award when he was only 12 years old. Mm -hmm. And our adopted son, Chad, who lives in San Jose now, is also an Eagle Scout. We're pretty proud of them. This next number is a beautiful lullaby. I used to sing it to my own children, and they still love hearing it. It's really special to me because Lawrence co-wrote it. Did you know that he also wrote our theme song? Yes, when the Welk's first daughter, Shirley, was born, Lawrence wrote a slow, sweet ballad in her honor. A little later, he rearranged it in a much faster, brighter tempo, and Bubbles and the Wine was born. Now here's lovely Norma Zimmer and some of us little girls to sing Lawrence's lullaby. Most families, like ours, have and love pets. Jenny, our oldest daughter, was our biggest pet lover and responsible for bringing many of them into our home. We've had a horse, chickens, rabbits, ducks, and we're still enjoying our fish, our cockatiel, our parrot, our tarantula, and even our king snake. We've always been a big hit at show and tell, but our favorite pets are Maggie, and Missy. And this seems like the perfect time to introduce the next number. Here's our country gal, Ava Barber, to sing, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. If he has a dog, he won't be lonesome, and the doggy will have a good home. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy sale. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a parrot that talks. I don't want a bowl of 
for sale. Thank you, Ava. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It seems that every kid who gets near a piano has a try at this next song. I don't even have to tell you the title, but I'm sure you'll enjoy this unusual treatment by two of our own kids, Gail Farrell and Bob Ralston. is up next. I remember when he used to bring his two little children, Kimberly and Kevin, to the Christmas show. It's hard to believe that Kimberly is now in restaurant management, and Kevin has just completed his first year at the University of California in Santa Cruz. Ken is roaming through the audience as he sings this next number, Real Live Girl. Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this with a real live girl. Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real live girl. Pardon me if you're wonderful. How you doing? You didn't expect this, did you? I'm all expressed with either I expect this and the one and the feel. Are the real life girl. Nothing can be getting swept off your feet by a real life girl. Nothing else charms like a waltz in the arms of a real life girl. Speaking of little Ptolemy, this must be it. Just when I started to learn how to knit, I'm all in stitches from watching what riches a waltz can reveal with a real live girl. And speaking of miracles, this must be it. Just when I started to learn how to knit, I'm all in stitches from watching what riches a man can reveal with a real live girl. Art Coates. Thank you, Art. And Mrs. Coates. Many people ask me if I ever find time to sing while still raising my family. 
I'm happy to say that I do take opportunities to travel and perform with other members of our musical family. I'm also working on an album and a book. It's hard to find time to write, but I just keep chipping away at it. I'm also slowly finishing up my bachelor's degree at Brigham Young University by mail. Our eldest daughter, Jenny, has finished her junior year at BYU, and she's currently serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She's spending 18 months teaching the gospel and learning to love the people of Corpus Christi, Texas. People all over the world are easy to love once you get to know and understand them. Jenny's finding out that it's a small, small world. <laughs> Excellent. Next on our children's show, we have our charming little Mexican senorita, Ana Connie. Ana Connie, will you please tell the folks something about your song? Because I just can't pronounce the title. <laughs> Certainly, Mr. Welk, I'd love to. Chapanecas is the name of my song, and Chapanecas are the ladies that are in Mexico, in Chiapas, in the state of Mexico. By the way, would you all help me along with this song? Okay, you clap along when I say, okay? Ready? Un clavel corté por la sierra fui Caminito de mi rancho Como el viento fue mi caballo fiel A llevarme hasta su lado Linda flor de abril, toma este clavel que te brindo con pasión. No me digas no que en tu boca está el secreto de mi amor. Ready? Cuando la noche llegó y con su manto de azul la blanca noche cubrió. Alegre el baile empezó.
Connie, and isn't she wonderful? One of the many children's stories adapted for the movies by Walt Disney was the one about the lovable little puppet, Pinocchio. Our talented group of dancers give you their version of a song from this movie. Hold it, gang. I can't move with all these strings on me. But how can we move our feet? And our hands. We can dance without them. I'll show you. See how easy that is? Now let's all try it. I got those strings to hold me down, to make me fret, and make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. I got no strings on me. Isn't that cute? I'm sure you recognized Bobby, Sissy, Jack Emmel, Mary Lou, and Arthur in that number. Someone else in our family who loves to dance is our daughter, Amy. She has just graduated from Hart High School, where she was a cheerleader. We were all thrilled when she won a full tuition scholarship to Brigham Young University. I think maybe her 4.0 grade average helped. Incidentally, Brigham Young is where my husband Brent and I originally met. Kathy Sullivan is singing a lovely song, first made popular by Judy Garland in the movie The Wizard of Oz, Over the Rainbow. Thank you, Kathy. That was beautiful. I try to bring my children along with me when I make personal appearances. 
It's a thrill to have them on stage and sing a number or two together. We all love it. Whoa! And here's my son, Dan. He's 10. What you got on there? These are our blades. All right. They're different from skates because they have a blade, and inside the blade are three wheels, or maybe four sometimes. That's terrific, and he is our expert on rollerblades. I think you've met all the family now. We're very proud of all of our kids. We believe that families are forever, and no matter how grown up our children get, they'll always be our kids to us. Here's Joe Feeney with a song that expresses that feeling beautifully. You're the end of the rainbow, my pot of gold. You're daddy's little girl to have and hold. A precious gem is what you are. You're mommy's bright and shining star. You're the spirit of Christmas, my star on the tree. You're the Easter bunny to mommy and me. You're sugar, you're spice, you're everything nice. And you're daddy's little girl. You're the spirit of Christmas, my star on the tree. You're the Easter bunny to mommy and me. Your sugar, your spice, your everything nice, and your daddy's little girl. Beautiful, Joe. Beautiful, Bob. Thank you all so very much. That song sure brings back memories of the days when my children, Shirley, Donna, and Larry, were very small. They used to love to hear stories of my childhood on the farm in North Dakota, especially when my family couldn't stand my practicing the organ and the accordion, and they chased me out of the house. So I went out by the barn and played for the animals. The little bunny rabbits, chickens, ducks, and birds became my friends and my best audience. Bernice McGeehan, who helped me write all my books, also wrote this children's book called Lawrence Walk's Bunny Rabbit Concert. I think the children will really love it. Here's a song, the scene that recalls those days on the farm, the barnyard blues. <laughs>
McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had some chicks. E-I-E-I-O. farm he had some cows on this farm he had some ducks e -I -E -I -O. This farm, he had some pigs. E -I -E -I -O. ball doing that number. I thought Rama's chicken was unusually good. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those were terrific days. Doing the show was always great, great fun. Well, friends, that's all for now. It's been so nice visiting with you and bringing you up to date on what's happening in our family and in our musical family. As so many of us have said in the past, our musical family is an actual family. We have shared a lot of laughter and tears together and we really try to keep in touch with each other. And as for all of you at home, our extended family, we appreciate your love and loyalty over the years. You are truly wonderful, wonderful. So, till we meet again, stay healthy, and as our boss always says, keep, keep a, a song in, in your heart. heart. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Grandma. Good night, good night, until we meet. Thank you.